How I Epoxied My Basement Floor, Part 1. This is the last section of basement I have to work on. So first I'm going to get my safety gear and also my safety shoes. Then I combine a gallon of Rust-Oleum's Clean and Etch and a gallon of water in a flowering can. Yes, it does specifically call for that. You use it to sprinkle across the concrete and this will etch the concrete so the epoxy will adhere and get up all the dirt and grime which could get in the way of the epoxy reaching the concrete. And now, the satisfying part, hosing all the grime off. Ooh, a little more of that. And then you get a shop vac and squeegee up all of the remaining dirt and grime. And then you hose the floor off again and vacuum again and do this three times over until the floors are sparkling clean. And then that leaves the next step, filling the cracks.